In this video, we're going to talk about the problems with using Edit by Curve in Fusion 360 Forms. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to take another look at this MR2 Fender Flare that we did in a previous series, and I want to talk about the tool Modify Edit by Curve. Now, I've talked about this in the past, and I've mentioned kind of how it works, and that oftentimes I just don't use it. I prefer to do things a little bit more manually. But I wanted to talk about it in the context of a design so we could kind of get a better understanding and idea of why I tend to avoid it. So first off, this design is the MR2 Fender Flare that we did going through our series. Now, I did another version of this that had a bit more detail on it, some creases and some harder edges. But this version was the smooth version from our video. Now, if we take a look at this without edges, you can see that there is a nice seam on the top of the door or where the top of the door line goes on this MR2. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a look at using Edit by Curve to actually pull that edge up and show you what happens underneath. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at this in box display mode, noting that we have three edges relatively close together. Now, when we go back to smooth display, they get spaced out quite a bit. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I make any changes is I'm going to use Make Uniform. Now, this is an older version, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to any new functionality that has been added to Fusion, and we're going to say OK. You won't notice any changes until you go to box display and back to smooth display. And when we do this, what's happening is it's taking at the distances between all the edges in the smooth display and it's trying to average them between what it's like in the box display. So ultimately you get a more evenly spaced design. But now let's take a look at smooth display and modify edit by curve. So I wanna take this curve here and I wanna give it a little bit more height. I wanna raise it up a bit. So what I'm gonna do is go to my curve control points and I'm gonna start pulling these up. So I'm gonna shift select both of them and just raise this ridge up a little bit. If I view it from the front, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up and out a little bit. And notice that we're moving it in uniform distribution using the surface points. The surface points are going to be the ones directly here on our smooth display. Control points will be the ones on the box display. Now, if I hide the edges, that doesn't look bad. And you can see that we've got sort of a more defined crease, but if we go back to our box display, you'll notice that now we've got these sort of overlapping edges. Now this is really bad. This is not good geometry. This is gonna cause all sorts of problem downstream because these faces are overlapping each other. Now, if I do Control Z and undo and put it back, this is what it looks like in box display before, and this is what it looks like after. If I show it in smooth display, after doesn't look drastically different than it did before. Now, it's not to say that that tool, Edit by Curve, doesn't have uses. But when you're working on designs like this, which happens to be a lot of the people coming to the channel or looking to do things like fenders and car bodies and car parts, when you get into the level of detail that we have on something like this, you're much better off manually modifying it or removing some of the level of detail. So for example, if we want to get rid of this uh, edge here completely, we can select it and delete it. We can go back to our smooth display and you can see that it's nice and rounded here. So if I bring it back, it tightens it up. If I get rid of it, it smooths it out. So again, these kinds of things are important to understanding how to work with the form's bodies. I'm gonna go ahead to utilities and make uniform one more time. I'm gonna go back to box display and to smooth display and then you can see it tighten that, tighten that up a little bit because again, it's, it's sort of averaging things out. So keep that in mind when you're working on your own designs, that there are some ways in which you can work with your designs, inserting edges, adding creases, adding geometry to tighten things up. And then there are other ways where using some of the tools like the edit by curve can oftentimes cause more problems than helping out your geometry. So I'm gonna pull that up a little bit. And once again, this is going to be the right way for us to get that hard detail in there still looks good in smooth display and it still looks good in box display. And the wrong way, again, in this case, is that edit by curve. So it's really tough with forms because very much it depends on 
the model that you're working with in your specific geometry. So there's no one universal rule whether or not that tool will work in your case or if it will, won't work. So keep that in mind that playing around with these tools is great. Just remember that you might want to use undo and redo just to test out to see what's happening underneath. From here, that's as far as I'm gonna go with this edit curve. So if you have any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.